Baba, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mel and Mishu. I'm starting this tutorial off with freshly washed hair. It's kind of dry at this point in time. I think I left it wrapped up for a few hours, but your hair can be slightly damp. I'm just putting part of it away so I can somehow tackle some parts into my course hair, but I obviously have to get some backup from the boy. Like, I don't know how I would have been able to do this look without him. Let's just put that out there. In the end, we managed to get a really nice straight part, as you guys can see, and then I kind of divided it into triangular pieces and rubber banded them away just so they would stay in place. And then I just did the same um, with the rest of my head, so just made nice straight lines um, and then made triangular parts, all with the eyes of my boyfriend to just make sure that the parts were somewhat straight, um, but I wasn't too fussed about the finish of it, to be honest. Basically, what I'm trying to say, if you want this to be kind of tidy, you you might need some extra hands and eyes, okay? And I'm gonna be for real, like this part took the longest to do. By the end of it, I'm sure my triceps had at least doubled in size. Um, so just try and execute this bit and then we can move on to the back two knots. By this point, my hair was getting pretty dry, so I just spritzed a bit of water into it and worked it into my low porosity hair. Um, then I put some conditioner in it. This is the one by As I Am and a light holding gel. This is by Curls. Retrospectively, I probably should have put um, that, what's it called? That red gummy wax thing um, into the Bantu knots as well, because the finished result wasn't as slick as I wanted it to be but it's cool this is what I did um and then it was still cute so yeah now from what I've seen online there's two kind of ways to do bantu knots you can either like coil your hair on itself and then do the bantu knot or you can do like what I'm doing an actual twist and then um twist the twist on itself to make the bantu knot um I don't know why I chose this method I just thought it made more sense to me so that's what I did this was my first bantu knot she was kind of cute but i think i readjusted quite a few of them as i improved my technique and you gotta excuse my armpits like i'm not even gonna apologize i have nowhere to be right now so you may or may not see a bit of stubble in this video um but i'm not even ashamed so don't don't even try and at me in the comment section okay cool i think by this point i started to realize that the edges weren't slick so then i used mousse just use edge control gummy wax um to get give you a really nice finished and um, slick look front one's finished um this would be a really boring video if i showed you the whole process so there we go and doing all of these took me about a half an hour 40 minutes tops it really doesn't take long at all one thing that i would say is try not to do the twist too tight otherwise the bantu knot comes out really tight as well and nobody needs hair loss in the form of bantu knots in 2020 okay the parts weren't perfect but i think for a first time it's it's good it's okay i can live with it um so now that i'm done with this i'm just gonna put a bit of foam into my hair just to keep the front bit laid. I'm gonna put a satin scarf on top and I'm just gonna sleep with it and yeah. So this was, I think, much later on in the following day. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here, but anyway. See how cute I am right now. I'm not even gonna try and sugarcoat it. That night's sleep was rough, uh, particularly the first day because you have really hard kind of pellets coming out of your head, you know. Um, but what I learned as the days went on is that I could just sleep anyhow and not have to worry about crushing the bantu knots and then I could just readjust them the next day. So it wasn't that bad. Um, my edges were looking a bit rusty. So that's when I actually used some of the gummy wax, which I should have used from the start, but we move. After I did a little satin satin to my edges, um, I was quite happy with it like this, but the purpose of me doing the bantu knots was I wanted to wear them out like this. Like I didn't really care for what the um, bantu knot out, like the final result would have been. Um, so you can just see I've got different scarves on in these clips, just trying to figure out different ways that I can style it. 
thing is, I don't know if some of people don't wear bantu knots out more. Like, even though yesterday my little sister compared me to this individual. Um, your confidence needs to come from within. I know I look cute, therefore I am cute. You get me? I. I wish I had a green one of these. Oh, I have a brown one. Wow. I like these Sarchi S looking. I mean, we tried. I could just put this round though. Regal queen, yes. Literally, I feel like I have a crown on my head right now because oh I don't even have makeup on. Imagine if I beat my face with God's sport, guys. Come on, no. Tell me I won't be snatching all of your edges right now, okay? Try me. If it's feeling a bit too tight, because I'm not gonna lie, my head was in pain yesterday. <laughs> I'm not trying to cause, you know, traction alopecia. If it's tight, just twist it in the opposite direction to what you, um, to the way that you were twisting um, and it just loosens it up and it makes it really nice and comfortable. I love this so much. I feel like a little girl, like. So if I would have done this again, considering this is the first time I did it. So I think for a first go, it's pretty good and I can definitely improve on this. But I would use this at the base of all of my um, twists to stop it from frizzing. Like, I don't know why I didn't think of that because it was all gonna be exposed and it's not slick. So. That was my only point of improvement, but for the first time, I think it's pretty cute. Like, I'm definitely gonna do this again. I think I ended up wearing the Bantu <laughs> knots for about four, five days. Like, not actually out, out, but they were in my hair whilst I was at home and stuff as well. Um, so, obviously, by the time I got to them, they were looking crusty and rusty, and they were ready to be removed. Um, so, I'm just using this oil uh, to ensure that I'm not creating. Well, I say ensure that I wasn't going to create frizz, but um, you guys will see when I start unraveling it. I think maybe the product combination that I used wasn't ideal because it still ended up being pretty voluminous, let's say. So here I'm just going through with a pick to give it a bit more volume. Looking very confused and unsure about how I feel about the style. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> different, it's really different. Um, it's cute, like I can see this being cute. But I'm not used to it. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Shakir would love it. Let's go and film Shakir's reaction. Red glam. Huh? Yeah, very eighties. Don't get me wrong, the style's cute, but it kind of gave me like auntie wig vibes. So I just put it in a high puff after um, so much more in my comfort zone. And I just felt like I could rock this style a bit more. This is what it looked like from the side. But next time I do Bantu knots, I'll definitely try to execute the um, wearing it out bit and I'll film it and show you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Show me love on the video as per usual and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.